So it's kind of your second chance at your first space flight. How are you feeling? <laughs> I am ready to launch into space. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. And what are yes. you looking forward to the most? Well, my experience of a of a a normal launch stops at about two minutes into the launch. So I'm excited about the 204 days that are going to follow those first two minutes. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're getting ready to do up there. There's a lot of Im important milestones that are going to happen. Uh, we're going to be doing spacewalks almost as soon as we get there. We're going to have visiting vehicles that are at a steady uh, at a steady flow to the station, providing us supplies. We're going to see the the first commercial crew vehicles start to show up to the station. And then, you know, kind of the icing on the cake is to be up there to be able to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the uh, Apollo moon landing and, uh, you know, be on orbit uh, in the ISS, in space, uh, trying to help, you know, think about how we work and live in space so that we can get back to the moon again during that that uh, anniversary is is going to be going to be thrilling. And what have the past few months been like for you? Uh, you know, it's it's a little surreal, but it, it's also very familiar. So I went right back into training. Uh, there were things that were going to be different because of the change in the timing for me being on orbit. And so all of those those changes, all of those deltas to the plan, uh, were things that I needed to get training on. So it's been a fairly quick paced, uh, uh, full schedule. Um, but there's also been adequate time to to uh, be able to really process everything that happened with the family. And uh, that's been that's been important. What has what has that sort of process included for you? Yeah, you know, so I am I am extremely lucky. You know, we we don't explore space alone. You know, it's not just the crew that goes up there. Um, we've got a huge team on the ground that supports us. Uh, but even more important than that is the family that supports us while we're up there. And you know, they make sacrifices too. And so being able as a family to process, you know, what happened and 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 getting ready to go for this next launch, uh, it's it's been important to have that time to be able to talk about it. I have an amazing wife. Um, she has has handled this. Uh, she has been strong and resilient, and my kids have been amazing as well. Um, you know, they're nervous leading up to this launch, uh, but I think every family member of anybody that's riding a rocket is nervous. Um, but they're they're excited and they continue to be excited because they understand why we're doing uh, what we're doing. It's important. It's a it's a mission of discovery. It's a mission where we're exploring and collecting data for scientists so that we can we can make discoveries to expand our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. It's a critical mission that has to keep going forward. Thanks so much for making the time and have a safe flight. Thank you.